It's a small change, but one that's generating a lot of conversation on social media. Oh, Canada, our home on a native land. There it is there, right? Julie Black's edit to Canada's national anthem has some people calling for the change to be made permanent. Julie Black is joining us now. Good morning to you. It's a great morning. How are you today? It is a great morning. It's a great morning to have you on as well. Okay, so tell me about the story behind this edit that you made. What made you decide to change that one word in the anthem? Well, we've been doing the land acknowledgement for a while. And uh, really, as I sat uh, a few days before I left for Utah, and it was I was practicing, because they, they definitely told me it had to be a cappella. I said, well, I'm going to be as exposed as I, who I'll be vocally. And so I consulted with my Indigenous friends and asked how they felt about me. I already made the decision to do the anthem, which I had turned down for many years, um, not the all-star, the other opportunities. And um, I knew this was the biggest stage to sing our anthem. This, we don't sing our anthem at the Super Bowl. Right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. I asked how they felt about it. And when I sang the word, the emotion right away, tears, hands on heart, it's like, okay, you know what? Uh, I call myself a bridge. I have my tattoo, it's permanent. Mm -hmm. I'm a collector. And if I, if I have an opportunity to, to help be an amplified voice, then I'm going to. And so that, that's where, that's where I, I made the decision. Julie, when you were singing that phrase and you said on, how did you mm -hmm. feel in that moment? Whew, uh, it was it was really emotional. Like for as a singer, if you cry, you'll lose your voice. You won't sound very good. But all these thoughts went through my mind. My parents migrating from Jamaica in the '60s, working for a dollar sixty-five an hour. I'm first generation Canadian, singing that song since kindergarten, learning it. Someone telling me to sing it, not knowing how it, what it actually meant. Mm -hmm. And so as a songwriter, I did. I didn't want to disrespect the, the songwriter because I'm one too. Um, but I also realized that we are on the land, like on it. It isn't, we don't own it, it's not ours. And so rather than look at it as I changed the anthem, I wish I could kind of sit with the songwriter and say, hey, you might have got the facts wrong and could we do a you know, bit of a remix? A so remix. that's where it came. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, obviously your performance was largely met with praise. I wanna show a few reactions that we saw, I'm gonna quote here. Julie Black singing our home on native land is a Canadian heritage moment. So that was from Alice. Julie Black mm -hmm. said our home on native land, salute to the queen and our home on native land gave me goosebumps. Best rendition of our national anthem I've ever heard. What is it like yeah. for you to hear that? It, I, I feel happy. I feel uh, proud to be a Canadian. Um, also, I recognize that this is an opportunity for me as a black woman to walk my talk and ask for, the, you know, be the support that I've been asking for my whole life. Mm -hmm. Be the ally and the accomplice, the co-conspirator. I didn't realize it was risky to be open. People were like, you should have been Kaepernicked and all types of stuff. I kind of laugh at it because I know that all I did was sing facts. It's, it's the truth mm -hmm. and the truth will set you free. And so, and with what's going on, what happened in Saskatchewan, like the timing of this, impeccable. So I really hope that my the amplification of this story will, will shed more light on what changes need to happen um, right away. And of course, there were also some people who disapproved of the change. One person asked, quote, I'm assuming she's ready to pay reparations. Another person wrote, it's not even my country. I think it's horrible. When you see comments like that, were you expecting this kind of reaction as well? Oh, of course. You yeah. can't you can't appreciate the sunshine without the rain, <laughs> you know, but I don't take it personally. They don't I don't those keyboard gangsters. Keyboard gangsters, there's no time to focus on keyboard gangsters. I leave with positive intent. I leave with love. And what's most important is that the indigenous community have my back. Mm -hmm. And this phrase came out many years, BIPOC, black indigenous people of color. But what people don't realize is all of the, 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 the cultures I mentioned, we haven't been able to support one another. We have, because we're so disenfranchised, we've been focusing, I've been focusing on, I'm black. What about me? Indigenous, we're indigenous, what about us? People of color, what about us? But now, this bridge could start to be built. I love that and bridge, yeah. One by one by one, we could come together and really be support and support each other and show the world what Canada, how we can be and are as a loving nation. Julie Black, uh, we always appreciate you coming on. Thank you. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for the support. All right, we'll see you soon. You take care. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.